Did you know that it takes an avocado tree a whopping 7 to 15 years to bear fruit? That's right, the avocado on your toast has been a long time in the making. Now, before you despair at the thought of waiting over a decade for your beloved guacamole, let's dive into the secret life of avocados. These creamy green fruits we can't seem to get enough of are actually classified as a berry. Yes, you heard it right, a berry. And they are nutrient powerhouses packed with nearly 20 vitamins and minerals. But their journey from a seed to your plate is as fascinating as their nutritional profile. Avocados originate from South and Central America, where they were cultivated for thousands of years before making their way to the rest of the world. The name avocado comes from the Aztec word ahuacatl, which means testicle. While that might put a damper on your avocado toast, it's just a testament to the fruit's long history and cultural significance. And the avocado's secret life doesn't stop there. These fruits have a unique flowering behavior known as synchronous dichogamy. This means that their male and female flower parts open at different times to promote cross-pollination. It's nature's ingenious way of ensuring genetic diversity. But the real star of the show is the avocado pit. This seed, which is often discarded, holds the potential to grow into a whole new tree. And the best part? You can do it right at home. Yes, you can turn that pit from your Sunday brunch into a thriving avocado tree. It's a fun and rewarding project and who knows you might just end up with your own homegrown avocados. So, are you ready to embark on this exciting journey? Let's uncover the mystery of growing an avocado tree from a pit. It's simpler than you might think. And we're here to guide you every step of the way. But why wait for 15 years when you can grow your own avocado tree right at home? Grab a pit and let's get planting. Your journey to growing an avocado tree starts with a pit and choosing the right one is crucial. Now, you might be wondering, how do I select the perfect avocado? It's not rocket science, really. When you're in the grocery store or market, look for avocados that are dark in color and yield slightly to gentle pressure. Once you've found your avocado, it's time to extract the pit. Here's a tip. Instead of hacking into the pit with a knife, slice around the avocado lengthwise until you hit the pit, then twist the halves apart. The pit should stay in one half while the other comes away clean. Gently use a spoon to lift out the pit, taking care not to damage or cut into it. And remember, fresh is best. Avoid using pits that have dried out as they're less likely to sprout. Once you've got your pit, you're ready for the next step, getting it to sprout. Now, the fun begins. It's time to coax your avocado pit into sprouting. You might be wondering, how on earth do I do that? Well, brace yourself for a fascinating journey into the world of avocado propagation. Our method of choice is the tried and true toothpick technique. It's simple yet effective. You'll need three toothpicks and the star of the show, your avocado pit. Begin by gently inserting the toothpicks into the pit. These will act as a support system, allowing the base of the pit to sit in water while the top stays dry. The positioning of the pit is crucial. You see, every avocado pit has a top and a bottom. The top is pointier and the bottom is flatter. It's the base that you want submerged in water as this is where the roots will burst forth. Just remember, bottom in water, top in the air, and you'll be set. Now let's talk about the importance of water. Avocado pits love a good soak, so make sure the water level covers about an inch of the base of the pit. It's essential to change the water every two to three days to keep it fresh and prevent any mold or bacteria from setting up shop. And what about the ideal conditions for sprouting? Avocado pits aren't too picky, but they do appreciate a warm sunny spot. A windowsill that gets plenty of natural light is perfect. You might be eager to see some action but remember, patience is key. Sprouting doesn't happen overnight. It can take anywhere from two to six weeks for the first signs of life to appear. But when they do, it's a sight to behold. With a little patience and some TLC, your pit will soon sprout roots and a stem. Now let's get it ready for planting. Your pit has sprouted and it's ready to be planted. This is where your avocado tree starts to take shape. It's a moment of excitement, anticipation, and a bit of gardening magic. To begin with, you need to prepare a pot for your sprouting avocado pit. Choose a pot that's around 10 inches in diameter, with adequate drainage holes at the bottom. This will ensure that your plant's roots aren't sitting in water, which could lead to root rot. Now let's talk soil. Avocado trees love a well-draining sandy loam soil. You can make your own by mixing two parts sand, one part garden soil, and one part compost. This blend will provide the nutrients your tree needs to grow and thrive. Ready to plant? Here's how. Gently place your sprouted pit in the center of your pot, making sure that the top half of the pit is exposed above the soil. This is important as the top of the pit is where your tree will continue to grow. 
Watering is the next crucial step. After planting, give your sprouted pit a good soak. Then, going forward, aim to keep the soil moist but not waterlogged. A good rule of thumb is to water when the top inch of soil feels dry to the touch. As for positioning your plant, avocados love the sun. A sunny windowsill or a spot on your patio that gets at least six hours of sunlight a day would be perfect. Just remember, young avocado trees can be sensitive to intense, direct sunlight so some shade or a sheer curtain can be beneficial in the beginning. And there you have it. Your sprouted pit is now safely nestled in its pot, beginning its transformation into a lush, fruit-bearing tree. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? With your sprouted pit safely nestled in its pot, your avocado tree is well on its way. But it's not time to rest yet. The next phase of your avocado's journey is just as important. Stay tuned as we dive into the care and nurturing of your young avocado tree. Growing an avocado tree requires more than just planting a pit. It needs your care and attention to thrive. So let's delve into how you can ensure your avocado tree blossoms and thrives. Watering is crucial for your tree's health. However, it's all about balance. Overwatering can lead to root rot, while underwatering can cause leaf drop. Aim to keep the soil moist but not soaked. If you notice the leaves turning yellow, you might be overwatering. Conversely, if the leaves turn brown and dry, the tree might need more water. Now, let's talk about fertilizing. Avocado trees are heavy feeders and require a balanced fertilizer to grow healthy and strong. Look for a slow-release fertilizer with a balance of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Apply it every two to three months during the growing season to boost your tree's growth. Pruning is another important step in caring for your avocado tree. It helps maintain the tree's shape and allows better light penetration to the inner parts of the tree. Remember, less is more when it comes to pruning. Start by removing dead or diseased branches, and then work on shaping the tree. Dealing with pests and diseases is a part of gardening. Avocado trees can be attacked by pests like the avocado lace bug, or diseases like root rot. Keep an eye out for signs of trouble like yellowing leaves or a lack of growth. If you notice anything unusual, don't hesitate to seek help from a local nursery or extension service. Finally, be patient. Growing an avocado tree is a labor of love and it can take anywhere from 5 to 13 years for a tree to bear fruit. But trust me, the wait is worth it. And there you have it. With some patience, a bit of work, and a whole lot of love, you can grow your very own avocado tree from a pit. So what are you waiting for? Your avocado toast is calling. Let's quickly recap our journey from pit to tree. We began with the secret life of avocados unveiling the fascinating facts that make this fruit truly unique. Then we identified the perfect pit, choosing a ripe and unblemished one to ensure a healthy start. Next we sprouted the avocado pit, patiently waiting as nature did its magic. This stage was followed by planting our sprouted pit, providing it with the perfect soil and pot. We then moved on to caring for the avocado tree, discussing watering, sunlight and pruning needs to ensure our tree thrives. Now, it's your turn. Embrace the journey. Grow your own avocado tree and experience the joy of watching it sprout, grow, and eventually bear fruit. Share your experiences, your triumphs, and even your challenges. Because growing an avocado tree from a pit is a rewarding experience. So give it a try and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Literally.